Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are in SnowRunner and we are attempting engine troubles. We have to go get the R87, which is the vehicle we are currently in now. Back to the repair shop. So it's uh, early morning. Sun's just coming up over the uh, the hill over there. And uh, we should probably put on our all-wheel all drive because we're uh, we're gonna need it. Now, I've been looking at the map, and I think I'm going to cheat a little bit. I don't like to use the word cheat, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to use a shortcut, and hopefully, hopefully this won't be an issue. <laughs> Maybe the worst decision of my uh, career, but uh, actually, you know what? It's 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 not going to be. I can already tell you, I've I've had much much worse uh, decisions. Uh, now we do have a problem here because that tree is not going to fall, and I don't think we're going to be able to winch ourselves up and over. Now, although maybe we could. You know what? I bet you we can. Let's take the route of the rock. This this snow is insane. Okay, let's just go up and over. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Maybe that was a bad idea. Now the good thing is... Should be... Oh, are we? Oh, we're not. I was hoping we were in uh, range of that. I suppose I should have taken that just a little bit... Um, just a little bit uh, slower. Let's see if we can't get... Oh, we're still not in range. Uh, maybe we did make a big mistake. <laughs> uh, I did not expect us to roll over like that. Um, can we get it to dig? I use the back. Come on. There we go. Twist us around. There we go. Nope. Okay. Let's try that again. Come on. Again. There we go. Alright, well, you know what? We'll go around the rock, because that makes more sense. And I think we can just sneak right up that way. I gotta I gotta kinda keep that in mind that this vehicle is very top heavy. <clears throat> and with the uh Well with the roof rack it doesn't make it uh it doesn't give it a lower center of gravity, so... Yeah, we're just gonna slowly work our way up this hill. This is probably one of the, uh, the toughest hills to get up for some reason. They, uh, they did not make it easy by any means. I don't think we can knock down any of these trees with, uh, the winch, so... We're just gonna go straight through them. Alright, there is a there is a road up here somewhere. I, I can never find it though. I think this will be my third attempt at uh, going up this hill. 
And hopefully it's the last attempt because after this, I don't think we, uh... I don't think we need to come up here anymore. We are aiming to be... where is that vehicle? Way over here. Okay, so we've, we've got a ways to go. I thought it was over here. Um, that's okay. You know what? We'll get there. We'll get there. I probably should have refueled, but... I think we'll be okay. Where's the actual road again? It is somewhere in here. Somewhere. Yeah, like, we're just getting on it. It just creeps up. I think it's right next to the stump. I'm gonna be careful not to, uh... hit the edge of that and tip the, the vehicle over, so... Alright, here's the road. A little bit of winch work there. Never hurt. And again, they call it a road, but it, it's... it's not. It's just a spot where there's not as many rocks. All right. Oh man. Um, I still cannot get rid of this cough. So if you you hear the mic cut off, or if you hear me turn my head and, and cough, I'm I'm trying to not to do it in the the microphone just because I can I can tell you from experience. It's, can be annoying and uh, I can tell you from having this cough that it is very annoying and uh, it's probably going to be one of those coughs that I have to the middle of winter you know the ones where they they just they never go away yeah I, I just have a, a feeling that this is gonna be one of them but anyways all right prop over those rocks and actually pick up some speed for the first time through here How much fuel do we have? Let's go ahead and fill up. That gives us about 20 gallons left. And uh, importantly, and I don't, I don't know if the game physics actually uh, follow this, but it will take the center of gravity and lower it a bit. So we should be a little bit more stable. We don't have as much fluid up on top of the roof. In fact, it's actually now below or closer to the axles, which would be our center of rotation. Uh, yeah, we're not even close to the road, but I don't know, somehow it, it was supposed to go through there. Um, yeah. Who knows? Alright. So this is a little iffy through here. I think I'm going to stay low this time. I, I went high last time and I want to say I tipped over. Um, so let's try to go low. Let's deal with more of the, the rocks. At least we won't be tipped. Um, now. The road kind of ends there. I think we're going to head to the right. Because, uh, yeah, we're not going over that rock by any means. And there's actually a little trail here, so that should get us down to the road that the uh, Yar is actually on. If if this vehicle would want to turn right, no, 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 don't you fall over. I should probably not um, keep my finger on the accelerator if uh, I go turn my head to cough because I can't see what's going on with the vehicles. All right, anyway. Little help from this sign. This, uh, this map is definitely pretty harsh. And I, I, I hope the maps 
I mean, I can't see them getting harder, but I can. Like, I'm hoping not every map after this is harder or just as hard as this map. I hope not. I hope we get some easier maps with uh, maybe a lot more uh, tasks involved. More um, missions to do, more things to find. But not necessarily the slow grinding, traveling along at one kilometer an hour kind of pace. That or we we should get some pretty cool trucks, but I think we're I think we're pretty much have all the good trucks figured out by now. Um, unless I purchase some, which I'm not against doing, so you know, it all depends on how the series is going. Um, and speaking of series, if you are enjoying it so far, I know we're only ten minutes in, but if you are enjoying the video, uh, please give a thumbs up because that does help out the channel. And if you're not subscribed, uh, please subscribe because that also helps the channel as well. So, um, you know, we're about halfway there to the first kind of goal <laughs> that YouTube sets out. Um, the funny thing is, all we're down, we're actually to the second goal as well. Uh, we're just not, we don't have the subscribers, so. Uh, but here's the, uh, the vehicle that we're bringing in. I'm not going to lie, those tires look like they might be better. Um, <laughs> I thought about just yanking this thing down this hill. And if I can see a path, I think we might just do that. What's this truck looking like? can't change to it, so I have no clue how much fuel is in it. I don't know how... What would be the way to go? I think we gotta go that way. We gotta sneak through here. Uh, we're probably... Can we get over that? Yeah, I think we can. Okay, let's take a left. Um, we do have the twin steer there, you can see in the distance. So if we do get stuck, or if we do uh, end up on our roof, we can... Uh, Pull that thing up the hill and yank us down. Well, more importantly, I, I yanked the yard that I'm now rolling over onto its roof. <laughs> and because it's on its roof, it doesn't want to, uh, it doesn't want to follow now. Alright, let's, let's get, oh, oh no, stop. Come on, come on, get, nope. <laughs> kind of figured that was going to happen. Kind of figured. Uh, let's see if we can't. Nope, I don't think that's going to happen. Can we, we probably, yeah, we're definitely too far away. Um, hmm, I wish I was just a little bit closer to those trees. We can attempt to barrel roll this thing. I just need to get it fired back up. There we go. Okay, now unfortunately we're in a bad spot. I'm pretty much gonna have to climb back up this hill just to get this 
vehicle, aren't I? Alright, let's, let's, tap. nope. Let's not roll over again. Come on, get up there. There you go. Back up a little bit. Um, I want to stay by these trees because that's that's probably going to give us our best chance. <coughs> All right, now that we're back to where we should be, I'm just going to yank this backwards, and we're going to go down butt first. Maybe. Holy crap. Wow, um, there we go, okay. We were, uh, we were pretty stuck there for a second, so. I want to reel that in first before we go. I want to get stuck on the opposite side of the tree, and that's where we got stuck. All right, you know what? I think we're close enough for that truck. Let's, uh, let's get the twin steer over here. Should have enough. We should have enough. Room. This is a this is a sloppy rescue. I, I just want to point that out. <clears throat> no reason to make this uh you know flawless. It's, it's not very much fun if it is. Okay, and we will just dig this truck up, lock the diff, and just slowly creep up the hill. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna get stuck. Back. We're probably far enough up the hill. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, let's just go in reverse. We'll just yank it down. I'm pretty sure they didn't say I had to make sure that it wasn't, you know, in the same condition when I picked it up, right? Like, it doesn't matter. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it does not want to budge now, does it? Let's see if we can't get it to roll. Nope, it just wants to do its own thing. Let's try to get the front. Oh, just gonna give me the side. <laughs> I love that it does this. I love that it does it. It doesn't want to give me the front of the truck, so we will make it. There we go. Oh yeah, whoops. Yeah, we were in, uh, we got our diff lock on. This probably isn't the best truck to uh, try to yank this in with. I think what I'll do, now that we're uh, we're at least here, yeah, I'm gonna smack into everything. Absolutely annihilate this truck. This thing is so long. I don't, uh, I don't think I'm going to be using it too much in this map. Uh, I'm hoping to use it in uh, later maps. Or even possibly use it um, if we ever go back to Michigan. Do some of the, uh, I mean, I guess really the only things left in Michigan are the, uh, the trailers. We can't really pick this. We can't really use this to its full extent. All right. Yay! That stage is complete, and we have just absolutely destroyed this vehicle and the yar. Let's go ahead and recover it. Uh, let's go to the map. Jump into the yar as well. We're gonna recover that. And yeah, we got some. 
We got some thinking to do. Oops, I didn't want to retain that. Let's uh, go to the global map. I guess it's this map. We've got to deliver to the repair shop. Um, so we pick up the warehouse and then we bring back to their vehicle spare parts. You know what? Let's let's do it. Let's let's use this beast of a thing. I know it's overkill. Uh, but it is it was I was pretty impressed. And I do I do want to see how this handles that little mud pit. Uh, between the warehouse and the uh, the garage. So uh, yeah, let's let's give it a shot. We'll just we'll move that tanker all the way. It's fine. I don't know why you would put it there, anyways. Um, what just happened? Did that tanker just throw that barrel at us? That barrel came flying at us out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know if I hit it or if it uh, got thrown at us. Oh, that was that was strange. But uh, yeah, let's see how this truck does with its long wheelbase. This thing should just crawl over anything that's in our way. Is that me? Do I hear dark dog barking? That was, that was not from my house. So I'm just wondering, did you guys hear a dog barking there? Am I going crazy? Have I played too much of this game? That may be a question. Do I have three times as much as I played to go? Yes. Yes, I do. There's at least <laughs> three times as much gameplay to do. Uh, this this game is actually very long. <laughs> if you actually try to complete everything in this game, uh, it's it's gonna take you literally years to do. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way out. So this is kind of the first pit where everyone gets stuck. Um, but again, like, our front tires are almost out of it by the time our back tires get into it. And push comes to shove. We've got winch points, so we're, uh, we're good to go there. Um, this is the first time that I've actually really... Uh, let's do that telephone pole. We're kind of drowning out on the bottom there. The chassis is rubbing but that's soon soon fixed and then this is this is actually the pit that is shockingly difficult for most trucks I don't know why I think it's the deepness of the snow maybe but this thing just I mean it's struggling don't get me wrong not not flawless, but you know what? With a quick winch, we uh, will pull right through this. Has anyone else noticed the cable on that truck um, that goes across the bed and under there? I don't know what it's for. I think it's that cable there. Uh, but how dynamic it is! Like it moves as if it's a uh, a real cable. Just a nice little detail. Just wanted to point that out. Sometimes I can be, I guess, a little negative. Um, so I just wanted to point out that that's, that's a pretty, that's a pretty nice detail there. Thumbs up from me. All right. All right, cargo content. Oh, we need. That's all we needed. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, ve vehicle spare parts. That's 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 all we needed, guys. So I think we um. Yeah. We definitely overdid it. Uh, is there any? Oh, we need to fuel for that. 
Magnitude 5. Ooh, you know what? Let's do, let's get the fuel for that. Cargo container. That's also picked up from here. And goes there. Should we do it? Should we try to... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Um... I'm going to... Let me get rid of this. Let's remove that. Hopefully... We have unlimited cargo pickup here. Because that would have been bad. Um... Let's grab... Oh, that's why. Okay. No, I want it on the truck. Thank you. Oh, we only have four slots. We need two fuels. Mm. That's a shame. How can I how can I do this? I don't have a crane, because normally you could carry it with a crane. Ah, uh, you know what? What was the mission that was farther away? I think landslide in the mountains, right? Yeah, that's the cargo. Okay, let's let's ditch the cargo container. We'll ditch that, and we will uh, we'll get the the spare parts. I think. Yeah. We'll do it like that. I tried. I such a such a shame that I couldn't do all four. Um, yeah, because you can't you can't attach a winch to one of these things. If I could just drag it, <laughs> I would I would honestly drag it until. Well, yeah, I literally could just drag it back to the garage and then use the crane to put it on top. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't. Okay, you know what? I'm trying to do too much. I should have brought another vehicle. Uh, yeah, we definitely don't have another vehicle. Why is my dairy way over here? You know what? I'm going to recover this thing. Um, hopefully that hopefully that wasn't really needed. Oh, you know what? I could have gotten these trailers in. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. We don't we don't talk about trailers here on this channel. We just we don't do it. We uh Yeah, we do it all the time actually. It's okay. You know what? Let's get let's get this twin steer going. Now we gotta be careful because this thing does use a lot of fuel. Uh but we've only used 30 gallons. So about a third of the tank. I think we'll be fine to get to the garage. There we go, let's dig in. Okay, this is this was the tougher direction. Um, and I think it comes down to the fact that there's nothing to attach your winch to. But, with this truck, we have a secret. We can attach the back to that point. And then we magically have the ability to winch ourselves out of this hole. Come on. There you go. And then we can reach, reach that point and continue pulling ourselves. I'm almost tempted to go up and over that tree. I don't think it's possible. I really don't. So, little tip here for you guys is to go around the long way. Don't cut through this part that I'm cutting through. Um, go around all this stuff because it's a lot faster and easier. Um, crap, crap. There we go. If you tip over on me.
Come on. There you go. There you go. Alright, well that's that's the hard thing done and over with, so... Now all we gotta do is not fly through here and, and end up rolling it. It's like, if I was full tilt there, uh, we probably would have rolled. Not gonna lie. Alright, so we've gotta go take this to the repair shop. I'm almost tempted to go back and get the other one. It's so close, like... I could just knock them both out, right? You just do both of them, right? It takes... I should have timed it. I, I think it's gonna take maybe, what, five, ten minutes? And if I drive the fuel over, drop those off, and then have to... Hopefully the fuel goes to the same spot, because if it doesn't, that might screw up our plans a little bit. <clears throat> no, no, I think I think we'll be okay. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know, I wish I wish this is where I was streaming live so I could just kind of ask you guys to make the decision for me, because I'm so indecisive, I don't know what to do. Um I think I'm gonna go back and get it. Like it just it just makes sense. Cause instead of driving all these trails twice, because no matter what I do, I'm gonna have to I'll I'll, I'll respawn here at um, the closest. Have to drive there, pick up the trailer, and then come back. So yeah, it, it kind of makes sense to go back now, because then I don't have to drive... Uh, I don't have to drive this back going west from here. So, uh, let's refuel. Boom. Full tank. Let's go. Let's go get this cargo container. Let's see if uh, getting through all this mud and stuff is uh, going to be tougher too. Because this is this is the true test. Because we've already done this path once, we've torn it up pretty good. I already know this route here is actually the better way to go. Um, there may be a stump. No, no, no stump. Okay, perfect. We can just kind of stay out of the mud as much as possible. That will make everything go by so much quicker. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> I know I wanted to try the trail again, but I'll, sh I'll show you this little shortcut too here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's faster than trying to go through that little uh, mud puddle there. You do, you do still have to kind of exit at the same point, but at least you don't have to go into that dip. Which is actually where this truck has its weakness, is where it bottoms out, so... But yeah, this is the real test. Is this gonna be so bad... Oh, let's slow down. <clears throat> is this gonna be so bad that we're gonna end up stuck earlier? Yes. Yes, that that is, that is the case. But... We do have a winch. And we do have... <coughs> Excuse me. Whoops. This... Why is that not... I must be just slightly too far away. Yep. 
We have this ability. This is this is the nice the nice thing about this truck. You just have to be careful because it tends to want to tip over when you do this. And now that we're here, we can pull from the front again. Ta-da! Ah, uh, it's perfect. Perfect timing. Perfect everything. Alright, so let's pick up this cargo container. That should make us nice and tippy, if anyone was wondering. Um, yes, it, it will be top heavy like crazy. Hopefully this doesn't bite us in the butt, but um, chances are this is a snow runner, so it will. If anyone was wondering. I know EJ, I knew you're I know you're wondering. <laughs> you're probably actually already commenting on this saying, Don't it's not worth it. You're gonna tip over. <laughs> it's never gonna work. You know what? We're gonna try it, we're gonna do it, and uh What's never gonna work though is getting out of here. Can I do it at full speed? Uh kind of. I mean I did it last time. Power through it? How tippy are we gonna be? Yeah, that's that's the real question. Alright. <clears throat> Ooh man, my, my stomach's starting to grumble. I'm uh it's almost it's almost dinner time. Alright, um, so this looks like it's getting pretty torn up. Yeah, we, we definitely made it farther last time, so we'll attach our winch. We'll trap our pants a little bit because it looks like the truck's going to tip over. Like, so so much like it's going to tip over. Alright. Um, hurry up, hurry up. We are moving. Ooh. Um, I, yeah, I don't know what to say there. That was, that was... That was on the edge of my seat, holding my breath, thinking we were going to tip over. Go Come on, get through these, get through these rocks. There we go. All right. We, uh, we tore that up pretty good. I guess this was the, uh, the downside of waiting, because if we, uh, had gone ahead and, uh, dropped off the fuel and then respawned at the garage, we probably would have done it in a newer episode, which means the train would have been back to, uh, its original states. Which appears to be that um, it would have been in better condition. But yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just go with it. It's fine. All right. Getting back to the point where we started this all. Uh, and I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, spend the night at the garage. We'll get a nice meal in the morning. We'll have a nice dinner. You know, we'll be able to hang out with our dog. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll refuel. We'll start off fresh early in the morning. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll go from there. This thing um, is definitely a little top heavy, so. 
think the mountain landslide is farther away. Yeah, so that's that's a heck of a way out there. We could We could try to do that. Can we We have to approach it from this angle. So I think we have to come up here and come this way cuz this way you're you're just you're SOL. So I could try to cut through here go over the land bridge. That would save us from having to go around. But if we go around, then we would obviously be in a better position. Uh, but fuel. Fuel is the issue. We got a scout fuel trailer there, so we could refuel. We have a trailer here. We can refuel as well. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think fuel is going to be an issue. Maybe we do go the long way. Go the way that we know. That might be the smart thing to do. But do we do that at Diddly Squat Gaming? No. No, we don't. We do usually just off the cuff dumb. <laughs> and that usually that usually is what's uh what works here, so. But we'll see. Maybe maybe we will. Maybe we'll try being smart. Like, just right there, I decided to not smash into the gate and uh, not have the truck take damage. Alright, so I think the cargo container goes... no. Yeah, I just have to come in here for fuel, isn't it? I thought something had to be dropped off here. What am I thinking? Um, okay, so. Landslide in the mountains. New pool. Nope. Magnitude 5, that's what we need. Okay, let's do this one first. Yeah, we'll track this one first. Uh, so let's refuel. We've got 96 gallons. Let's uh, skip to morning. Does this use fuel? No, it does not. Okay, cool. I always forget. Sometimes I, I have to remind myself some of these things. Although we did, we did run the truck all night, but somehow we didn't use any fuel doing that. So. Ooh. Yeah, I would have, I would have hit that. I would have taken damage. That. All right, so let's get on this track. Ooh, little tipsy. Oh, lot ah, tipsy. No, don't. It froze. What happened? Oh, I went inside. Okay. We're okay. Why is nothing going right today? This is this is insane. Um, let's go this way. Oh my! Look at how tipsy tippy you are. Tipsy? Yes, because you're drinking alcohol. You're tipsy. Okay, let's just let's just get there in one piece, straight up and down, nice and vertical. That's what we need. Like, why, why are we so tipsy? Like, <laughs> we are so top heavy. I don't know if this is worth it. Alright, we will just plow through this. Don't think. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go this way and then that. We got we got a ways to go before we turn. But I'm getting the fuel off first. That's the that's the sad part. That's the part I don't like. I wish I was getting this container off first. But the fuel's first, so we'll do the fuel. <clears throat> but this thing just inches through the mud. I mean it foots through the mud. Like it just kinda flies through it, to tell you the truth. 
it, it's been so long since I've been able to drive a vehicle fast in this game. Like, and I, by fast, I mean, you know, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, that type of thing. Definitely not, definitely not on this map, for sure. Um, but we are already are at the turnoff. I'm not gonna get gas yet. We have 82 gallons. We barely scratched what we have in the tank, so. Look at that, this trail is pretty uh, torn up too. And I've I've definitely restarted the game, so. Did they uh did they make it where the trails don't really reset anymore? That that can't be. Maybe that's just the way this trail was. It was made to look like somebody just came down here. Go ahead and throw our differential on. That should help, uh, that should help with us going straight. And yes, I did, uh, I, I just wanted to throw out there because we're kind of have some downtime going through this trail here. But I did request to do live streaming on uh, YouTube, so. I'm gonna look into doing that maybe once a week. Um, probably doing SnowRunner. Uh, it's possible I could be doing other games as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that, see how that goes. So if you guys can join me, that would be great. And um, not sure how long I'll be streaming for. It uh, it may just be one of those things where it's you know a half an hour, an hour. I don't know. I haven't, uh, haven't really decided. It may vary on the day too, as well, because, uh, you know, some days I, I may be busier than others, and other days I'll, uh, hopefully have off and have nothing else better to do. But, uh, unfortunately I'm married, so I always have better things I can do. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Wait a minute. Did it not say I have to go forward more? There we go. Boom. Okay, that's unlocked. Um, you know, for what it's worth. I think there's a portable cabin here, but we did this. We completed this mission, and that's that. So, this is one of those road unblocks that you do after you do everything back there. So, uh, let's go ahead and throw it into auto and back our butts up this hill. We might be taking this whole trail backwards. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't really think about that. That's okay. It wasn't. It wasn't too hard. There might be a spot where we can turn around. At least I don't have those weird. Uh, oh, that's not gonna. That's not gonna turn me around. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh. Holy crap. That was that was a little too close. Alright, let's let's just keep going straight back. I should be okay to do this. Should be okay to do this. Just keep telling myself that, right? You can do it. It's like Thomas the tank engine. You can do it. You can do it. Is this a good spot to turn? Uh, no, no, I'm just gonna keep going. Um, hold on a sec. I gotta check something. My dog's going nuts upstairs. I don't know if you can hear. Um, why? Why? Some reason. How are we that? Ah, I think we're fine. I think I know why the dog's doing that. 
though. Oh. I don't like this. We're gonna use this tree to keep us from hopefully tipping over. Come on, Quinn. There you go. Get pointed downhill. Borrow that tree a little bit. Okay, we should be good. Alright. There's uh there's been some rough times here. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie at all. This is where we'll throw our diff on and just cruise through here. This is almost kind of relaxing to do this little jaunt through this mud and ice. Well, like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying this. That's why. I do it. And it's, you know, it's fun to play the game. <laughs> That's also a bonus. All right, let's definitely refuel here. That should be good. Um, nope, I lied. We're too far away. Refuel. Boom. Yeah, let's go back to auto. Move back up. Yeah, so uh, if you guys want to, go ahead and recommend our next truck, because uh, I think I'm out of trucks to try. I know I have, obviously, trucks we haven't tried. Uh, we also have trucks that have we haven't tried in a while uh, that probably have some nice upgrades by now. So if you guys want to see a truck, and if you, if you want to see me use a truck, hopefully pick a good one. Um, I wouldn't really want to try the Western, what is it, the Western Freightliner or whatever it was, the, or the GMC 2500 or 35, 4500, whatever it was, the, uh, the first real truck that we got in this, uh, game. Although it would be interesting, I wonder, you know, has it been, do, have I gotten enough upgrades to make it a good truck to use? Who knows? But uh, if you guys have a suggestion, I will. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, give it a shout. And if you want to see any truck in any color with any skin or paint job, also let me know. Because uh, I don't know. I, I I think it's nice to let you guys kind of decide those things. <laughs> it kind of makes you feel like you're part more part of the the journey. Uh, Try to use some of these trees. They're absolutely just useless for winching, but it kind of doubles as something to do. Um, and I think, yeah, I, I I decided I'm just gonna take the long way around. I totally forgot to even look at it uh, to see if it was something I actually wanted to do or not. There you go. You finally grab a tree that isn't gonna get ripped out of the ground. Find some hard packed snow. There we go. Now we can start moving. Oh, oh, it's so nice to be able to go fast. So nice. And uh, I think with this thing, we're just gonna go this way. Go around the pole in the ground. Well, I know the rock slide's way over there.
Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna follow the main road. We probably could take that ice path around the frozen lake and whatnot, but... That's New Pool. What was New Pool? Oh, yes. Oh, that's... Okay. Yeah, we gotta get this. What? We gotta get this over here? Alright, well that's gonna be fun. Hmm, I wonder what truck I want to use. Thinking maybe, well, you know what? You guys tell me what truck I use for that one. So yeah, that's that's the challenge. New pool, you guys get to pick a truck. Which means I can't record this until this episode's out. Um, hmm, that's, that's smart of me. <laughs> Normally I try to record all three videos within the beginning of the week and then upload them for the week. But, uh, yeah. That, that might be pretty hard. You guys are gonna have to tell me, like, right on the day that it gets released, because... I'm gonna have to come back. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm busy on Thursday. This video comes out on Wednesday. I'm busy Thursday. And then the next video comes out Friday. Yeah, you know what? I'll have to, I'll have to figure out how to get it done. Uh, looks like we go right. We can do that. As long as there's plenty of trees around. <laughs> Especially if I start tipping over. We'll just roll that tree over, we'll roll those trees over, we'll just we'll go through them all. Like, look at this thing. This thing is a big old American truck. We got like, gauges on it. Like, there's so many gauges, I couldn't tell you what half of them mean. A lot of them are, have PSI on them, so... Pressures and tires and hydraulic. Oil. Air and sea and snow and ice. And... Yeah, I'm gonna stop my point now. Uh... Alright. Uh... We're gonna take the dry path. I don't know if any of that was breakable or not. Nope, looks like we go straight through. Perfect. That path was pretty simple. Definitely not gonna lie there, that was a that was almost too simple. Oh look, we have fuel. Oh, this is the one that's almost empty. Alright, you know what? How much fuel is in that tank? Ah, uh, 314. I'm not gonna take any fuel. I'm gonna opt not to. <clears throat> in fact, I might actually... I might actually come back this way and drop fuel off and then recover this truck. I mean, by the time I come back, we're talking 10% of the fuel that's in there, so it's probably not worth it. But you never know. It all depends on how many times I have to come this way. Um, I think I, yep, yeah, it's, it's sliding through here. Oh, that's not too bad there. Let's slow down a little bit. This truck is a little tipsy. I, I don't know if I've said that enough times this episode. <clears throat> but yes, it is a little tipsy. Ooh. 
We're gonna have to do some fancy winching here. Uh, let's winch on to that. There we go. Okay, that's how you get around tight corners with this thing. Good thing there was uh, trees around. <gasps> You're lying. Yeah, I just slapped myself in the forehead. Why was I thinking when we came around this way we'd be fine? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, abort. Um Let's use this tree to try to get ourselves down this hill. Way too fast. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's see some more fancy winching. Uh, I'm gonna have to go into auto because I gotta back up. And drive forward. Oh, no. Oh, son of a biscuit. Uh, I tried too hard. What was I thinking? All right. That's um that's a nice little glitch there. Uh, 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 yeah. That's pretty pretty massive, but Oh, goody. Now I have to rescue the truck as well. <laughs> Alright, well, on that uh, bombshell, I think I'm going to end the uh, episode here. Uh, we are probably going to be bringing the Az off. You know what? We're not that far away. Yeah, I think we might, uh, I think we might be bringing the Az off. Down through here, up here, down through here, across the land bridge and then try to figure out a way to get across this part I can't believe I did that I was thinking that we were in the free and clear here oh man all right well you know what we'll we'll figure it out and uh, let's go ahead and get this one ready and packed up Uh, cause, yeah, it's going to be needed from, uh, far, far away. So, uh, I might actually bring, I might bring the dairy with it too. Yeah, I might, I might do that. So let me, uh, oops, let's, uh. Jump into the garage. We'll get the dairy set up so I don't forget this. Um, but yes, please keep a. Uh, please let me know what truck you want me to use next for the uh, mission after this one. I already forgot the name of it, but I'm sure you guys remember it. And uh, yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get everything underway. So the dairy's not gonna have chains. I think we're gonna be we're gonna be dragging the dairy behind us. We're gonna use it as a you know what? Uh, let's recover real quick. Let's see. Can we... Can we throw a bet on this? No, we can't. Okay. I didn't think so. In that case... Where is my... This truck? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we take this one. 
We haven't used this truck in a while, and this thing's a beast. Um, hopefully it can get through most of the trails. But like, look at the size of this truck compared to our Azal. It, it, <laughs> it's a good old truck, so we will uh, we will take these guys for a ride, and uh, we'll see how they do in the next episode. But uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.